Spring is finally here. The weather's warming up and the trees are in bloom and flowers are coming out. But what could make this time of year even more special? I know, murder hornets. Asian giant hornets are very distinctive looking insects to say the least. They have bright orange heads and uh, bright orange stripes on their bodies and they're very big. They're the world's biggest hornets and they're between one and a half to two inches long. Uh, about, about, the size, about the size of your thumb. Pretty big for a hornet. And they're native to Asia, but for the first time, Asian giant hornets have been found in the United States. And uh, there have been reports that identified two of these, uh, these giant hornets in Washington state. And there were two other sightings, but these have not been confirmed yet. Because these hornets are so big and because they have such potent venom, they're responsible for about 50 deaths each year in Asia where they're a native species. And this is usually because people have allergic reactions to their venom, but they're actually much, much more of a threat to European honeybees. Now, these hornets are social hornets, and they also do something that, that no other hornet in the world does. They actually perform social coordinated attacks against honeybee hives. And they carry this out in several stages. First, there are individual worker hornets that target individual bees from a particular hive, which they uh, mark with a chemical. They'll attack these individual bees, kill them, bite off their heads, rip off their body parts, and then take the dismembered bits back to their own hive so that they can feed them to their young, which is pretty terrible. But it's not as terrible as what comes next. A few dozen hornets will massacre tens of thousands of honeybees at a time. After they basically killed all of the bees in a hive, then what they do is they move in. And this is the final stage. It's they, they occupy the hive and uh, they take all of the, all the pupa and the larva of the bees and they kind of chew them up into this paste, which they then again use as food to feed their young. So I, I know the prospect of these, these giant hornets may sound a little scary, but in general, they, t they don't attack people. And in fact, they're, they're a part of a natural ecosystem in their native habitats in Asia. And in fact, Japanese honeybees, which they also prey upon, have actually evolved a very effective defense against these hornets called a hot bee ball. They collectively mob the hornet and they form a ball of living bee bodies around it. And they vibrate their flight muscles that raises the temperature inside the ball. And essentially they cook the hornet to death inside this wriggling mass of bee bodies. Now we're not seeing swarms of these giant hornets in North America just yet. And actually before the sightings were reported in Washington state, there were reports of a couple of individual giant hornets that were found in British Columbia. Uh, but again, in both of these circumstances and in both places, there were just a couple of individual hornets that were found. And it's not clear how they got here, if they were released deliberately or if they maybe hitchhiked in some, uh, some international cargo. But, uh, but biologists are very, very concerned because if this species becomes established here, this could be a serious disruption and a serious threat to local ecosystems and to the honeybees that we have here, which have not evolved any kind of defense to protect them against these massacring hornets.